this is Vivica Williams and you're watching Head to Head. More than a thousand children fall victim to cancer every year in Ukraine and more than 50% of them die. So what should be done to reduce the, reduce the number of deaths and how can local organizations help children here in Ukraine? To talk more about this, we're joined in the studio today by Lionel Loy, the organizer with Lions Club Kiva Ecology. Hello, and thank you for being with us today. Lynn. My pleasure. So tell us, first of all, I know that the rate of death from childhood cancer is higher in Ukraine than it is in the rest of Europe. And there are a lot of discrepancies when it comes to numbers. So what do you know about the, the reported, the actual, and maybe the unreported numbers? In fact, uh, the, the amount you was giving was correct. If you take the, from the government, they say that average 1,000 children have cancer yearly. If you compare with the United Nations, they arrive to average the same type of figure. The problem is after. After, if you compare government, they say only 30% are dying. When United Nations say no, it's average 53%. 53%. So there is also already a, a big gap. But the real problem is, is not the gap. The real problem is... If you compare this amount with uh, Europe, with France, for example, I know, it's only 15%. So, so that means it's a, it's a 50%. It's two, two to three times more than in Europe. In Europe. And mm -hmm. that is the tragedy, because Absolutely. there is no, no reason to justify really that in Ukraine uh, there is a, so much a difference. Ukraine is a civilized, they have the good doctors, they have the good nurse, they have uh, the problems, they don't give enough attention to um, put the means for the doctors. Uh, when kids die, uh, it's like a war. It's like a war, so if you go to a war with a, a piece of food, you can never fight your enemy. Right, you, it's, it's asking doctors to tackle this issue of childhood cancer without having the right equipment. And if we go back to the numbers, this is the amount that was reported is 1,000, but you're, you were saying earlier to me, that this actual number is underreported. Yes, because definitely uh, you can consider that I was recently with the Red Cross and they arrived to the same situation. Uh, in Kiev, you have almost the best equipment. But if you leave Kiev and if you go up country, uh, of course, the doctors, the hospital, especially in the small cities, they don't have equipment the diagnostic abilities. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's very hard for a doctor to, to know if uh, the children has cancer from a brain, from the bone, leukemia, if you don't have the right equipment. Mm -hmm. So 1,000 is the one identified. But how many, how many, I don't want even to, to try to know how many, are dying and they are under radar. It means never, that they never have been detected and, never, and no nobody knew why. of what, mm -hmm. what. And that's, even the United Nations doesn't want because... It's very tragic it's very situation tragedy. for parents yeah. for not to have any idea why their child has died. Exactly. And when it comes to uh, why this level is so high, and you were saying that it has a lot to do with not having the resource, not being given the resources to to at fight against these cancers? Uh, in fact, when you, when you visit hospital, uh, you arrive already to the same tragedy. The doctors, uh, you have very good doctors here, very good doctors, very good nurses, uh, medical staff. And you know, when you see every day kids suffering and dying, they are sent. To me, they are sent, because when I stay one hour, <laughs> I start already to need a fresh hair. So it's, it's a situation desperate for them because they know they can fight. They know they can achieve a 15% like in Europe. But again, sometimes they have the medicine, sometimes they don't have. Uh, about equipment, uh, when you have a leukemia, for example, you need absolutely very sophisticated equipment, which you don't have here. So of course, what they do is they give too much uh, medicine. They're, they're not able to really give the accurate dose, the doses for medication for cancer, these chemotherapies. It's very toxic, and especially for children, this is an issue. Yes, uh, is what because you're saying. Yeah, the kids, it's from one year to 17. 
So when you have a so young like this, and we have a chemo, which is perhaps two or three times more, right. you imagine the, the pain and the suffer. So uh, when we speak about statistics, but uh, 1,000 kids identified, let's see around 400 dying. 400 is more than one per day. So that means if you come to reality, uh, yesterday died one kid, Today, now we are speaking. And maybe even, even, more, even more. Even, even more. more. Today, than, uh, more. one will die, and tomorrow, one will die, and every day, Miss Death is coming and take his tribute. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you visit the family, of course, when it doesn't happen to your kid, you don't feel very concerned. You say it's a pity, but you don't feel concerned. But when it's your kid, and that happens. And to know that. Uh, there's treatment available, and 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 I know anyone who's lived here in Ukraine has seen uh, the the pleas uh, that are that are put in uh, on the buses, or or people put in newspapers, or post different places, pleading with uh, you know community people to give money so they can help treat their child for cancer. We've all seen these, and this is just a very sad thing to have to see a parent that. They have to buy, find ways to spend the 40,000 euro or 20,000 euro either to take their children to somewhere which has the equipment and the medication or to purchase that here. Mm. And so you're, so this is a major issue as well as with the medication. So and what, you, what yeah. do you see being done or, or needs to be done or, or is not being done to procure more medication to treat children? In fact, uh, if you have invited me 10 years ago, I would have told you it's the same problem. Today, the situation is worse because even uh, compared to Europe, but even in future, it will be even worse. Why? Because if you see in Europe, they plan from 15 to, to decrease to 10 because more and more sof sophisticated medicine, better and better equipment, so they plan to reduce. The government, like United Nations, they plan uh, it will increase in Ukraine. And from 2020, it will be a bomb. So they're, they're expecting Much uh, more. cancer rates in children to increase. And what are they uh, attributing that to? So uh, our intention is, uh, in fact, if the kids are coming on us, it's because us adults want it. So they are innocent in that way. And uh, uh, we think that uh, we need absolutely our responsibility is to protect our children. So uh, it's time, uh, I think now, it's time to the population, the nations stand and say, now it's enough. Uh, our kids are suffering, our kids are dying, unnecessary. Uh, kids are dying cancer. It's a pity, but it's normal. It's, you can't avoid. But when they are so much suffering and dying because there's no means, uh, that is a real tragedy. And uh, I hear many times people tell me, but it's our government to do the job. I say, sorry, uh, you are parents, you are adults. The first responsibility is to protect your kid. The government and the politics, they do what the nation wants. If the nation doesn't really care, which is a fact today, unfortunately, uh, of course, the politics are not giving attention. Uh, my dream would be that uh, everywhere in Ukraine, uh, it's organizing cocktail night like we do, uh, lottery, uh, also concert, to raise money from the public, and attention from the public will decide uh, the politics. And in fact, uh, is to uh, avoid uh, that it's missing money, because there is money in Ukraine. It's missing money to buy medicine, it's missing money for uh, equipment. And with this uh, huge fundraising, but after, it's a corruption. Well, we see now uh, there's been a lot of uh, reform, and one of the most successful has been with looking at the medical reform, and uh, particularly with medication procurement, which has improved and increased. Um, so has there been, from, from what you've seen in the uh, Lions Club, um, are you seeing some of the, I mean, it depends on what medication, of course, there's so many medications they need to, to import, to change, to increase. This is a, I agree, this is a huge issue in Ukraine, the expense and cost of medications. 
Um, so have you seen uh, some lobbying to increase the priority for cancers, uh, for cancer medication on the procurement list? In fact, these, if the government admits that the death of cancer will evolve, it's clear that they are not taking really in charge the problem. So uh, about now medication, uh, it's clear that of course w we have also uh, this problem. It's when we buy medicine, we uh, buy where? At the apteca. We go to the corner right. and we buy the apteca. So full price. Which is a shame. It's a sh I am uh, auditor in business. I like business. I respect business, but there is some priority. And even myself, if I want, I, I bought before some medicine. I ask a skid car to the apteca. They tell me yet. C'est pas chimou, c'est pas tamou. So uh, it's also what I would like. It's uh, it's to speak also about the corruption. We can't avoid this because. Even the government admits that part of the money for the medicine, for the equipment, it's overcharged. Okay, there is, uh, I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to explain that uh, with my idea to fundraising, to avoid uh, this problem of corruption, according to me, should be uh, controlled. The money should come uh, directly to uh, main NGOs, international known, like you have in Ukraine, like a Red Cross, like Lions, us, mm -hmm. or like uh, SOS Children, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would see three main uh, NGOs. They receive the funds and the money for uni only to treat the children because they have a capacity, knowledge, and so on. Of course, the government controls the money because everybody signed a contract saying that we agreed 100% of the money will go for the children. And uh, auditor, external auditor with the government, control also these NGOs to put at sight uh, this involvement of money. Because many times we face a problem that people don't want to give money because they are afraid, even us, for us, and we are known and we are volunteers, they are afraid that the money right. will disappear. Right. So this problem must be put aside, and uh, honestly, uh, I would like to ask, uh, with all my respect, uh, Mr. Poroshenko, uh, perhaps he will not be the next president. So to me, he has a wonderful chance to put his name in the history of Ukraine. Why not to uh, make a law in uh, go um, Parliament? explaining that, that uh, the government ensure that uh, all the money will be enough for the kids. And uh, also very important, no profits on the medicine and the equipment. Because, uh, of course, 10% for the logistic, but when a box, uh, because everything is imported, arrive, for example, a $10, apteca or whatever, they can sell only $11, 10% to pay the logistic, but no profits on the medicine, on the equipment, and everything controlled by the NGOs to be sure that the rate of death of our kids will go down from 40 or 50 today to 20. And I'm sure in the next three years, if we do that properly, uh, we can arrive to uh, Europe and in future, uh, no more deaths, in future, the kids, they will die at the normal absolute uh, rate, like in Europe, mm -hmm. and very easy here, again, all the doctors and surgeons and everything capable to, to do that. Mm -hmm. Just a matter of the nation stand and the politics uh, follow the nation. And, so. uh, well, and tell us about some of the, the projects that uh, Lions Club has been working on, because it seems from what you're telling me that it's really reaching out and trying to provide this direct care as well, direct funds and, and medications and, and uh, equipment to hospitals or to children. Tell us a bit about some of the Lions Club projects. So uh, myself, I'm now uh, collaborating with the uh, uh, Lions Club Kiev Ecology, which is a part of uh, Lions International. And uh, just one word on Lions, it's the number one NGO in the world, with uh, 206 countries, almost 2 million members. And we, uh, we have now this project uh, with um, um, uh, Mumba, uh, <coughs> the bar, uh, yes, uh, 
In fact, the project is to buy medicine. Mm -hmm. We need a absolutely in priority medicine. Why? Because to buy equipment, it's minimum machine is around a hundred thousand dollars. If you want uh, uh, really mm -hmm. efficient equipment, mm -hmm. uh, so it's up to now out of uh, possibility. So uh, Lions Club here in Kiev, they've been uh, trying to work on providing the medication, uh, some lobbying and legislation, I imagine, and also uh, procuring equipment as necessary. And you also spoke a lot about the fundraising things that you're working on. So this is something that's major as well with Lions Club with doing local fundraising. And you yeah. have an event that's coming up shortly. Yes, in fact, uh, the problem of the hospital everywhere, it's sometimes they have medicine, sometimes they don't have. So the idea is to try to achieve that at least the hospital has enough medicine to cover its needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, the 1st of November, a cocktail night, uh, three hours with a DJ, uh, pop music, uh, good ambience. And uh, I would like to salute Anna, the boss of uh, Buddha Bar, which helped for the children. The entrance is only 250 grivna, uh, plus one drink free. And what we need is uh, first, of course, maximum of audience. So please uh, come you, Papa, Mama, Yevushka, Babushka, all the family come there. Welcome. Uh, we need also, in fact, sponsors to try to obtain uh, from local companies uh, help for the kids. And uh, also important, like I was explaining, it's uh, ap we buy medicine apteca, so it's very expensive. So it means with the same amount of money, uh, we could have uh, many more boxes of medicine. So if a wholesaler or wholesale company in Ukraine uh, can help us. In, in fact, we, we buy the, the medicine at a wholesale price to obtain more boxes. So, of course, more medicine to, to cure yeah, the so kids. Directly. But it's, uh, we're organizing on the Thursday, 1st of November, in Buddha Bar uh, to, to help the, the kids. And we would like to repeat, of course, regularly uh, in condition to, to provide enough medicine to, to, the, uh, to the hospital. Thank you so much. We're really impressed with the work you're doing and, and the population that you're trying to help. Thank you very much for being with My us pleasure. today. <laughs> and this was Alaino Luai, the organizer with Lions Club Kiev Ecology. Thank you for watching and stay tuned with UATV for more great programming. <laughs>